If you have been investing using trading platforms like Revolut, Trading212 and Desiro, then you are probably used to receiving some dividends on the stocks that you own every now and again. Most of the time they are probably so small you don't even open your account to check them when you get the notification. The vast majority of us invest in big US companies, but did you ever notice when you receive a dividend from a US company that up to 30% of the dividend that you receive actually goes to the US taxman? I'm just looking at a dividend here that I received in December for IBM. So the total dividend income was $4.10, but 62 cent of dividend withholding tax was taken away and I only actually received $3.48. In this video, I'm going to be explaining exactly what is going on here and how it actually affects the taxes that you have to pay on your dividend income in your home country. If you are investing in US stocks, there is a 30% withholding tax applied by the IRS to any dividend income for anybody who is not a US resident. This rate of 30% can be reduced depending on what country you are from. For Irish and UK investors, if you fill out a W8 BEN form when you sign up with a broker, this can be reduced to 15%. Essentially what this form does is certify your tax residency. All brokers should prompt you to fill out this form whenever you open an account. And on that point, if you want to sign up to Trading212 with the link below in the description section, you will get a free stock valued up to 100 euro and I will get one too. But anyway, just back to that form, you may have filled it out when you signed up to the account without even knowing. A quick way to double check this is just go to your your transactions and have a look at some of the dividends that you have received so I'm just going to have a look at the one I showed you earlier on from IBM so the dividend I received was $4.10 and 62 cent was taken in withholding tax and that equates to 15% so I know I have filled out the form and got the reduced rate this rate is reduced because there is a double taxation treaty between the likes of the US and Ireland and the UK if you are not familiar with what a double taxation treaty is, the general rule is if you receive some income in one country and pay tax on it, then there shouldn't be a situation where you are paying tax on that same income in another country. This is in a situation where both of these countries have a double taxation agreement. So what does this actually mean for you when you go to do your annual tax return every year and include that dividend income? For example, the taxes that you pay on your dividend income in Ireland are your income tax rates, which are your PAYE, your USC, and your PRSI. So it's basically the same taxes that apply to the money that you earn from your job. This means that the actual rate that you are going to pay will depend on how much income that you actually earn. For somebody who is already earning 36 1800 from their job and the additional income that they start making on top of that is going to be taxed at 48.5 percent and if you are on a higher salary again it increases to 52 percent when you reach 70k so then when it comes to the dividend income the 15 percent us withholding tax that you have already paid on that income will actually be a credit against any tax that you have to pay in Ireland. So for example, if I own some Coca-Cola stock and I make 200 euro in gross dividends every year, 15% or 30 euro is gonna be taken straight away by the US tax authorities. And then when I go to do my tax return at the end of the year, let's say for example, I earn 70,000 euro with my job, then this 200 euro is taxed at 52%, which is 104 euro. But then you apply the credit of 30 euro, which you've already paid, which is 15%. US withholding tax so you are left with a balance of 74 euro that is actually due to the Irish tax authorities. So I know I ran through that kind of fast but I hope it made sense to everybody. If anybody has any questions on this topic please let me know in the comment section. And with that thanks very much for watching today. If anybody is new around here please make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with my latest videos.